Hello guys and welcome back. If you're just now joining us, hello, my name is India and I'm dating an Italian guy named Philip. We decided to turn his car into a temporary home on wheels to go on a budget-friendly holiday around Italy. We explore the country's landscapes, and while sometimes pushing our luck, we're always down for an adventure. If you haven't already, go and watch the last video where we spent our first night by the coast, our second night in the mountains, and now we've made it to Campo Imperatore, a plane that extends far. Continue to follow along on our journey to see just how far car camping can take us. After having a once in a lifetime meal, thanks for making dinner, with crazy good looking views, we washed the dishes and got ready for bed. How do you feel about losing to cards? Bye girl! che se non mescoli le carte è ovvio che vinci Whilst we were getting ready for bed the night before, a car pulled up next to us. They took out a tent and started pitching it as the sun was going down. The next morning I saw that they were still there and so built up the courage to become a true Italian. Buongiorno! Volete del caffè? <laughs> Abbiamo anche biscotti, melone se volete. And just like that, we quickly made friends over a tiny cup of coffee, biscuits, melon, and freshly picked almonds. better to take a nice armpit shower. Hi! After that amazing armpit shower, our neighbors asked if we wanted to go on a walk with them. After checking our to-do list, we realized that we didn't actually have much to do. So we said yes. I guess you could say this morning walk beats all other morning walks. I mean, one blogger even describes Gran Sasso as the crowning glory of the Apennines. And we didn't have to climb up that far to see some really gorgeous views. The next part, that was a little bit more rocky. <laughs> Get it? There was a lot of wind, as you can hear from this footage. And some parts of the path were extremely narrow with sheer drops on either side. So that begs the question. Is Gran Sasso actually safe to walk on? I mean, where am I even standing on here? What? Wh the same blogger also mentions that the same exact path we were on included an eroded scree slope. Between the rocks and... and the void. Okay, here comes the slippery slope. Let's go, let's go! We got this, we got this. Whoa, I'm sleepy. Oh, 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 it's good. We 
ended up not dying and therefore had a street food lunch with the locals. We parted ways with our newly found friends because we had to quickly rush back down to make it in time for our appointment. We had a kayak date to get to. And so we made it to the Tirino River. And of course, one of the very first things that I asked when I got into the water was... The friendly kayak man told us that it's considered a protected area, so swimming in it isn't really allowed. So I'm not too sure why this ended up happening. I mean, I guess it was just one area where we could have a quick dip. Going through the crystalline water, we were surrounded by nature noises and landscapes. It owes its transparency to the ice-cold waters which flow from the basins of Campo Imperatore. If there is anything which showcases just how untouched Abruzzo is, the Tirino River demonstrates it the most. We left the experience feeling refreshed and in awe with how much more nature had to offer. Once we dried off a little, we hopped into the car with no clue as to where to go. So. I took out the list of places my mom recommended us go to. And uh, Sulmona seemed like a very, very good option. Sulmona, the birthplace of my grandfather. Needless to say, he also insisted I go visit the town. And I'm glad I did. Cue the cringy 2014-esque montage. After having an amazing aperitivo and reminiscing on what we had done so far, we decided to spend the night in a small town a little further away called Pacintro. Fun fact, it is also the town where Madonna's family comes from. Now we're gonna make some noodles. Oh wait, you didn't think that we actually dug out a pan to cook it from scratch, right? Next time, we have some intense conversations by a water stream. Do you love me? Sometimes. <laughs> we go on a mission which had to get accomplished before we left the beautiful region of Abruzzo. Oh no, is it close? Turn right onto Strada Statale 17, signs for L'Aquila. Head northwest, then make a U-turn. And we get absolutely soaked. Afredo? Yeah, it is cold. <laughs> Come back next time to watch all of this and more. Is it refreshing? Yeah, it's so refreshing, thank you. <laughs> Do you want some more? <laughs> <laughs>